Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show how you can use HTMX to do Ajax comment submission. So what we're seeing here, we'll do a second comment and then when we hit post it just adds it to the DOM, there's no page reload. And surprisingly this is done without any JavaScript, at least I didn't write any JavaScript to make this happen. All right, so how is this all happening? Well, uh, this is my blog, and I'm going to make this video assuming that you have some familiarity with Django, and I just want to focus on the HTMX part. So I hope that you either have a blog or you have some website, and you just want to add some HTMX, you want to add some Ajax behavior to your website. And if you don't know, Ajax is for asynchronous JavaScript, a way of um, changing the DOM without doing full page reloads. Okay, here is my post detail page, and some of the magic going on is down here in the comments section. So what we have here is my post object, and the posts have comments, and we are looping through all the different comments, and we include uh, each comment item here. And the part that we just interacted with is the create comment section, which is right here. And um, this includes syntax that allows you to basically inject um, HTML into any template from another template. Um, so this template right here is blog comment add uh, comment.html. So I have this little comment folder. Here's the comment uh, add comment is right here. Let's check this out. And this is basically the section here represents this section right here. From here all the way to the post button is this section. Uh, so you see there's the post and here's that comment field. So we're, I guess it's right here. This is the comment section. This is the comment section. Okay, so normally what you would do is you would have a form here and you wouldn't have any of this HX post and you wouldn't have an HX swap. This is all the HTMX magic going on. So um, the first thing you'll want to make sure you do is use the HTMX uh, code. Um, you want to load the JavaScript library. If uh, I'm doing that in my base template, let's check that out. That's in parts, base. Um, mm -hmm. HTMX. Yeah, so I'm loading in this HTMX min.js and I have that in my static files JavaScript. Uh, here's the HTMX min. So once you download this from the HTMX website and you put it in as a static file um, and put it in your head tag, you'll be uh, up and going. Okay, um, so this HX post is going to a comment create endpoint. And we see there's an HX swap, an HX trigger, and an HX target. I'll, I'll sort of breeze over these briefly, and then um, hopefully we'll just be able to dive in and start explaining. So the HX post is very similar to um, like an action um, property where we are going to reach out to a URL, and that URL is going to give us something back. And what it's going to give back is just uh, an HTML fragment. And once that HTML fragment comes back, it's basically going to be just the comment. So it's going to be the entire um, contents of the comment. And what we're doing is a before end swap that's triggered by the submit button. So when I hit post, which is the submit right here, it's going to reach out to this URL and then it's going to swap out some HTML with what's returned. And it's targeting the comments list. So let's actually go in here and we can um, take a look at the DOM here. So we've got this comments list and it's an unordered list. Um, so we have um, the first comment is an LI tag, the second comment is an LI tag. And what HTMX is doing is, hey, when I get this HTML fragment back, which is going to be an LI tag with all the info, I want to 
swap some HTML into the comments list right here. This ID of comments list matches the ID right here. And you use a hashtag for an ID. And it's going, and then let's check out what before end means. I have the docs up here. And why don't we take a look at uh, swapping, swap, HX swap. And here's all the different options. We'll just focus on the before end here. And it says insert the response. And that's going to be our comment after the last child of the target element. Now, our target element is the comments list, and each child is an li tag. So it's before end means take this parent and then swap in the HTML as the last child of this element. And that naturally makes sense. The comment's going to go as the last child. And now that I'm explaining this, it probably makes sense for the comments to be in reverse order. <laughs> so if you wanted to do that, it would probably be after begin, and that will make it the first child of the target element. Um, so that'll be my refactor after this video. Um, after begin, we'll make it the first child. Before end, we'll make it the last child. OK, um, so we've got that. And it's triggered by the submit button. Now, let's actually take a look at this comment create view. So the URL that points to the view and, and see what it returns. Um, URL comment create, if we take a look at our URLs, we have comment create right here, and it's taking the create comment view, and create comment view is right here. Now, this is a whole lot at once, but hopefully we can just go through it um, slowly and it'll all kind of make sense. So this is a class-based view, and all of this is pretty straightforward. We're getting the post and we're validating that the actual comment form was correct and saved and, and saved properly. And then now it's checking, did this request come from HTMX? Basically, is this an Ajax request or is this a request coming um, maybe from like the admin page or somewhere that HTMX is not present? And um, we're going to get the post object, which will be important in a moment. And we add the comment to the context. And there's this comment HTML render to string, which is uh, pretty interesting. Um, and I'm going to skip over this part. This is basically handling if there's no comments that exist, what do we do? But let's assume that there's already comments there and we're just adding an additional comment. So let's find out what this comment HTML is. Comment HTML is inside comment item. And that's another template that I have right here, comment item. And this is the whole comment. And it, it has, um, let's take a look. So it's got the author, and it's got the date posted. And it's doing the traditional, um, let's see, comment update. Oh, that's, that's another route I have. But basically, this is the whole comment. And why don't we actually hit a breakpoint and see if we can take a look at what this HTML looks like. So we hit that there. And then now let's try to add a third comment. Third comment, hit post. OK, so we're now into the view because the HX um, the comment create was called. So now we're up in our view. And it's wanting the comment HTML. So why don't we skip over that breakpoint to here, like that. Now, comment HTML, you notice, is just straight up HTML. Um, we go in here, let's go to the debug console, and we'll try to do a print on the comment HTML. Yeah, it's straight up HTML. It's just an li tag. And this is really the HTMX way. In HTMX, you 
use your views to generate HTML, and then you inject that HTML directly into um, the DOM. So what we're doing is we're generating the HTML on the server side, and then we are taking that HTML and putting it into the DOM um, for the user. Now, this part we'll just skip over because there is, um, uh, there's no, there's already comments. So this will just skip over. And then now it returns the HTML. And I think it just did it. Yep, third comment. So it fired that through. Now, that is basically it. So we've taken our comment, we use the comment update, it did that swap. And why don't we take a look at this. So here we have that third comment, it added it as the last child in here, and it, it just added it in. Now I have to still implement this HTMX workflow for, for the delete workflow, I actually haven't done that part yet. So when we hit delete, let's um, make sure our breakpoints aren't being hit anymore. Yeah, so it's going to keep refreshing the whole page. <laughs> this is like the old school way of doing things. And and I'll make a second video probably to show uh, how to delete comments. And kind of a little bit of a, a tease with that. It's going to be, um, let's see, it's going to be delete probably, delete the target element. So instead of doing a swap where we're adding HTML, you can actually do a swap where you delete and you would basically delete the um, the li tag as opposed to adding one. Okay, um, so we've got that. Um, where are we? Okay, let me delete that last comment. And now we've got no comments yet. So now we're in an interesting spot because what is the code supposed to do? I, I've set this up to where this no comments yet is an li tag just within the comments. But the problem is if we just follow the same workflow and we added a before end, um, pretty much added an li tag as the last child, we're still going to have this no comments yet. I mean, that's going to stay there. Um, and that was the first thing that happened when I tried to implement this is I would, you know, type in um, like first comment again. And then when I hit post, it would just add an li tag. So I ended up with no comments yet, first comment. And it took me a minute to figure out how to solve that issue. And the, the trick is this HTMX option called um, OOB. And that's the OOB attribute. And this is doing an out of band swap. So we'll step through that. Um, now, let's hit a breakpoint right here, and we'll do the same workflow. So we'll go here, we'll do this first comment, hit post. So we're doing the same thing. We got the eight, they got, we got the comment HTML fragment, and now it's checking, does the post have any comments? And in this case, um, yeah, and this is the part I wonder why I did post.comments count equals one. So that's really interesting. So post.comments is one comment. Oh, I know why it's doing that. So basically, if um, if there is only one comment, we've already um, called the create comment instance. So in the database, the comment already exists. So we've already added it to the database. And in any, ca in any case, there's one comment here. It's always when um, you've added the first comment to the database. So if I did this again, the post comments would be two because it's going to add it to the database. And then now we're doing all the client side um, actually updating the DOM and updating the DOM happens after you create the comment. Okay, so what is this OOB swap command? So you notice we have this div hx swap OOB true ID no comments message. Now, if we go into the uh, DOM here, you notice that 
this no comments yet. Let's see. Uh, no comments message. Let me check to make sure I understand this. So the ID is no comments message. And let's go to our post detail page. Um, perfect. This is this is how it is. So I've got this div that is wrapping the li tag. And the div has an ID of no comments message. So right here, this div is wrapping the li tag. And what the code is going to do is any, um, when you do ajax swap o be true, it, it means when you find this ID, I want you to swap it out with what I'm giving you here. And in this case, this is an empty div. All the div has is an ajax swap attribute. It has an ID and then there's nothing in it. So when we do this swap, it's going to target this no comments message. And because hx swap OOB is set to true, it's going to swap it out. And that way you can, what they call piggyback. Let's go over here. They say, this allows you to piggyback updates to other elements on a response. So not only are we going to add a comment HTML as an LI tag, we're also going to swap out that no comments message. So let's take a look back over here. See, we got that no comments message in here. So we've got this uh, unordered list and we have the no comments message. Let's just hit play. So now you notice that the first comments here and the this div of no comments message is just an empty div and it's not going to take up anything and it's just kind of hanging out. So you have this div here that doesn't take up any room and then here's our first comment. And this is the way to handle when you want to use HTMX to update multiple elements at the same time where anything with this HX swap O be true will swap out those other elements. And yep, it goes through, it uses this to target that no comments message and swaps it out. And that is pretty much the end-to-end -end workflow. What I'm going to be doing next is taking a look at this um, comment item here where we're using just a regular form, it's using a method of post, and here's that action here. So what I'm gonna be doing in the next video is instead of using action, we're gonna use um, HX swap, or we're gonna use HX post and to delete the, um, the comment, but then there's going to be an HX swap of delete that's going to um, remove that LI tag without having to do a full page reload. Okay. That was a lot, and I hope I covered it at a good level um, for you to kind of figure out how it works. Um, and I hope you're able to use HTMX. It's a really fun technology, and it allows you to write less JavaScript, which is always cool. All right, let me know if you have any questions in the comments.